Hello, everybody. Welcome to part two of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, The Game. We are now in level two, Movie Madness. Follow that star that the guy on the skateboard is the evil X. Now, these camera guys are pains in my ass because their flashes can stun you if you give them the opportunity to use them. And then it looks like right here we have a food truck. We are going to get some Croix Monsieur, a hot ham and a mental grilled sandwich. I'm going to talk to my friend Brent about the hell that is. Now, I can't make any of these to go, I do not think. No, I can't. So, we are, I want to say, almost full health now. Now, this is the part here, the producer, uh, th this whole part is done in a movie style thing, where after I take care of the alien chicks and the fire breathing, uh, dragon, I think they're, I think those aliens are women. It'll then these guys here who flail their arms about come out. And I got to take them out too. It doesn't take a whole lot to kill them. And then the producer gets depressed and goes off screen and. Then we've got this thing, which I want to say is a bomb. I see the the flashbang is the the bane of my existence there of course they can also hit you with the cameras but I'm sorry I don't care how how old the camera is I would not hit a person with a freaking camera so let me take this key and we put it in this lock to move on to the next part of level two yeah, there's a little turtle, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles nonsense going on here. Giant balls of doom. And there's bats. And there's another key. I do believe, I do believe it is impossible to make the key permanently despawn. I, I don't want to believe that there's a way to, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to get through here and then you've, you've successfully soft-locked the game. So in this part, the wall, he, he runs out, and you got to break that thing because the wall is actually going to close in on me. I think after, I think at, once I unlock the, uh, the chest, the wall starts to unlock on me. So we throw this in here, we get money. Okay, the, the wall is coming. So let's get the hell out. Yep, there it is. It's not insta-death, but it might as well be. So now we are on to another movie stage with that poor, poor producer, director. I don't know what he is. And we got some dudes that look like they're they're in Jason masks and some more dinosaurs and aliens. See, what I'm managing to not show you is the dinosaur guys actually have like an enraged state where they will actually, like, glow red. And, uh, they are... And they will actually try to headbutt you. They, they will bull rush you. And it is quite nat, quite terrible. Now, this car... 
This thing, if I don't break it, will actually try to kill me. Actually, I do believe even if I do break it, it will try to kill me. I'm being locked in a permanent, like, state of... I think I managed to... Yes, I did. Yeah, had I not broken that in time, that would have killed... That would have absolutely killed me. But now we are on to the second evil X, whose power is look him up on the web. That's what it says. And um, he skateboards. I can throw the cone at him. He does summon some skateboarding guys after a while. I'm actually doing pretty good again. There we go. Boom. Didn't summon any skateboard dudes. Didn't skateboard himself. He tries to get the hell out of Dodge, but then he explodes. Yes, that does say item, but let me tell you exactly how often I will use that. The answer is never. I will never use that item. It is honestly just there for purposes of saying that I got something like some of those things that you get in video games that serve absolutely no freaking purpose but only exist to be and yes it is a pile of corpses <laughs> with scott and ramona making out on top of them and again everybody else in the background just sort of like happy to be there so that's the end of part two. I will see you guys in part three when we go to Leo's place. It's not the Ninja Turtle. Take care. Peace.